Good evening. Good evening and welcome here to my place. Um, <clears throat> it is my Wednesday Bible reading, so I'm going to be re reading a book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 9, which is the New Testament after Jesus Christ came. And a lot of times in these red, where you see the red prints, that's when Jesus is speaking. So <clears throat> without further ado, we're going to get on to it. Jesus forgives and heals. So he gotten into a boat, crossed over, and came to his own city. Then behold, they brought to him, lying on a bed. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to them, Jesus speaking, Son, be of good cheer your sins are forgiven you at <clears throat> and at once some of the scribes said within themselves this man blamish but jesus knoweth their thoughts and said <clears throat> why do you think evil is your heart for which is easier to say your skin are I mean your sins. Your sins are for forgiven you or to stay, arise, and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sin. Then he said, A-R-I-S-E, arise, take up your bed and go <clears throat> to your home. And he arose. And departed to his house. Now when. Now when the minitude saw it. They marred and glorified God. Who has given such power men. Matthew the tax collector. As Jesus passed on from there. He saw a man named Matthew. Sitting at the tax office. And he said, uh, he said to him, follow me. So he arose and followed him. Now it happened as Jesus sat at the table in the house that behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. And when he perceived, saw it, they said to his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? When Jesus heard that, he said to them, Those are, I mean, <clears throat> those who are were have no need of a physical, but those who are sick, but go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice, for I did not come to call the righteousness, but sinners. Jesus question about falsely. Then the disciples of John came to him saying, why do we and the proceeds fast all often, but your disciples do not fast. And Jesus said to them, can the friends of the Bridegroom mourn as long as by grooms with them with them, but the days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one puts a piece of undershrunk clothes on and oh garnishment for that path that falls away from the garnishment and the tears is made worse nor do they put new wine into old whisk whiskiness or else the uh, wineless wine breaks the wine and it's spilled and the uh, wine kiss are but they put new wine into the new wine skin and both preserved. <clears throat>
while he spoke to these things to them, behold, a ruler came and worshipped him, saying, My daughter has just died, but come and I'll lay your hand on her and she will live. So Jesus arose and followed him and so did his disciples. And suddenly a woman who had a flow of blood for 12 years came from behind and touched the hem of his garnishment for she said to herself, if only I may touch his garnishment, I shall be made well. But Jesus turned around and when he saw her, he said, be of God, cheer daughter, your faith has made you well. And the woman was made well from that hour. When Jesus came into the ruler house and saw the flutes playing and the noisy crowd waiting, he said to them, make room for the girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculously reclusive him. They crucified him, but when they crowded was put outside, he went into the took her by the hand, and the girl the girl arose, and the report of this went out unto the land that land. Two blind men healed. When Jesus depart from there, two blind men followed him, crying out and saying. Son of David, have mercy on us. And when he had come into the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said to them, Do we believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, Across to your faith, let it be to you. And their eyes were open, and Jesus warned them, saying, See, that's no one of knowing it. But when they had departed, they spread the news about him in all, in all that country. A mute man speaking. As they went out, behold, they brought to him a man mute and demand processed. And when, and when the demon was cast out, the mute, the mute spoke, and the muted marved, saying, It was never seen like this in Israel. But perhaps, but the perhaps said, He cast out demons by the rule of the demons. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages teaching there preaching the gospel and the kingdom and uh, healing every sickness and every disease among the people but when he saw the multiply he was moved to compassion for them because they were wearing and sacrificed like sheep having no shepherd then he said to his disciples, The harvest truly is plen plentiful, but the labors are few. Therefore pray to the Lord of the harvest and send out labors into his harvest. And that is chapter 9. A girl restored to life and a woman healed. I forgot to read that title, so... Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this Bible reading. Um, I hope everybody's doing okay. I know there's a hurricane and going on in Florida. But I heard it wasn't as bad as they thought. There's some type of fire going on in Louisiana. Um, pray for Peanut Pepper because he lives over there. He was talking about that on his channel yesterday. I didn't know nothing about it till then. So, yeah, prayers for Louisiana. Um, prayers for keep playing for Florida. And just all around the world, you know. Because right now we all can use prayer. Hawaii, whoever. 
But anyways, this is the New Testament. I just read it. If you like these type of videos, I would love to have you come join me on my journey. Until the next one, bye.